Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video. I've been getting a lot of requests lately for how to add a button to a chart with an indicator. I've literally been asked this like five times this week, so I thought I would make a quick video because there are a couple of concepts about it that might be new to people. And so I think it's useful to have a video where we kind of walk people through the steps. There is some example code in the NinjaTrader documentation. I have it open here. If you go under the educational resources in NinjaScript, there is a bunch of different tutorials on doing some of the more advanced things in NinjaTrader. And if you really want to get into NinjaScript programming, I would recommend you read every single one of these. Anyways, the one that we're talking about is using bitmap image objects with buttons. That's where I got the base code from. And I've just kind of simplified it down a little bit more so that we can show you just the things that really matter to what you guys want to do which is to have a button show up on the chart. All right, so here is my code right here. And I'm just gonna go from top to bottom and point out the things that are important that you need to have if you wanna add one of these to your own existing indicator. The first thing is, is that because we're going to be messing with Windows controls, we need to add that using statement into the, the top here, using system Windows controls. Then in here, I have a private chart right here. And that's just because we need to be able to tell if we can actually access that chart window, because if we can't access it, then we need to do different things. All right. Then here we have the, of course, the button itself and a Boolean to just tell if we actually added the button. And you'll see why here in a little bit. Okay. So then on state change is kind of where things start, because that's when we want to add the button to the chart. Of course, the state set defaults is pretty standard. This is in every indicator. And if uh, you don't know a whole lot about the on state change method, go and watch my other video where I talk about the main ninja trader methods that you need to know. But here in the state historical is where we add the button. We want to wait until state historical because that is essentially when we have added the indicator to the chart and it's going to start loading data and running through the, the past data that we have. If we do it before that, it could try and run it well while we're like in this indicators section right here. When when you add it over here, it actually creates an instance of your indicator. So you don't want to do it then when it's like in the state.configure for instance. All right. So then um we check to see that we haven't already added the button and if we haven't then we have a method where it this is all, you know, slid out into a separate method, which is very good programming practice. Always split things out into a separate method. If you can abstract things away, abstraction, abstraction, abstraction will help you so much. All right. And then also when we remove the indicator from the chart, we also want to remove the button. So we need to do stuff when we hit state terminated. All right. So then here's the add button toolbar. And here's where we're talking about that chart window. We need to make sure that we can actually access the chart window. And if we can't, then we have to print out an error to them, right? Um, another thing to note is here at the top, we have this invoke async method. And this is basically because when we're dealing with GUI elements, there are a lot of threading considerations. And so the invoke async ensures that it's able to do things when it is able to do so. And that will kind of avoid errors that you might get where like you'll it, it'll add it sometimes and it sometimes it won't because there's threading problems you invoke async and it kind of gets rid of some of those problems all right now the rest of this is pretty straightforward here we're just setting the style of the button we're these these are basically all things that control what it looks like what text is on it how it's aligned horizontally etc but the thing that's important that you want to look at and the thing that's kind of a little bit unique to C-sharp is this my button dot click plus equals my button click. What's happening here is my button dot click is an event and you can add methods onto that event. So I'm adding the my my button click method. And essentially what happens is when the my button dot click event is fired off, it will call every method that has subscribed to that event and we're doing that with a delegate that's what this is right here so this this is kind of a little funky syntax that you'll not see anywhere else but this is the crucial part because this is how we actually make it so that 
our method will fire when you click the button, right? Then we actually add it into the chart. All right, we also have a bit of code right here that uh, resolves an issue that can occur when you're opening the workspace open for the first time, right? Uh, not, not too big of a thing to worry about, but you do need it, all right? And then here, the other side is when we are terminating, right? We need to, first we need to make sure that we actually were able to add the button in the first place. And if we did, then we need to remove the button. All right, and then down here again, here's our method that we call. So when that event gets fired, because we've subscribed to it, this method will get called and we should print out something in the console down here. So let's add our button and click it and see if it works. We're gonna come in here, I'm gonna find button example. Ah, nice, nice yellow button. And when we click it down at the bottom, oh, hi. So that's how it works. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment yeah. Let me know in the comments below and I will answer every question. So make sure that we'll get this example working for you. Also in the video description, I will have this code. So check it out. I hope to see you guys on a stream every morning, 8.20 to 10.30 Eastern time. And in the meantime, stay profitable.